With more snow on the way is the perfect time to tie teasers for the upcoming season. It's pretty simple. All you need is a vise, bobbin, good clippers, material for the fly, and epoxy for the fishing touches. Let's take a look on how Andrea ties his version of a sand eel teaser. So today I'm going to show you how to tie a simple sand eel like bait fish teaser or fly. Um, it's made up of pretty simple materials um, using a hackle feather uh, and white and chartreuse. I'm going to add a little bit of um, lateral flash and some ostrich curl. So, show you. So you start by wrapping your thread onto the hook shank. Okay. Put away the tag end. Then I'm going to start with white on the bottom is like the belly the hackle feathers is like a brittle part so I usually cut that off to make it more durable so let's tie that in there I usually like I like to measure their out measure out the feathers, make sure they're the right lengths too. To have like a a uniform profile. When you get pretty good at this or you can uh, start to use so just one feather at a time. You can start doing like two. So that's what I'm going to do here. Just measure that. Yeah. So now I'm gonna take my chartreuse tackle. I'm gonna put that on top of the white. Start add my flash. The flash I like this type of flash I like to measure it out as like almost the length of the fly or the teaser. So I only use a couple strands, maybe I use three here. Three on each three on each side of the teaser. You want it to go like down the side, but it's a it's gonna be a lateral line, so well, <clears throat> laterally of the fly. This
Alright, now get your flesh on there. And then this is like a, an added part. Um, ostrich hurl just gives it a, a better look and profile because um, it adds like a darker like top to the teasers or the flies. And that's what most bait fish are like. So I'm going to do uh, a couple strands. Okay, and I put that right on the top. Okay, so that's all the material part. So now you're just gonna start building the, uh, the thread. You know, you want everything covered. Okay. All right, and to, <clears throat> to finish it off, I'm just gonna whip finish it with the whip finishing tool. So you just do that. A couple times. That's it. Um, it's a real simple pattern. If you want, you could add eyes to it and then epoxy over. Makes it look even better. But uh, I'd just fish it just like that and you catch all kinds of stuff from schoolies, bluefish, weak fish, and fluke. So, so you could put eyes on it or leave it without eyes either way it's a easy and simple profile um very easy to tie so if you want to give it a shot try it for yourself go see paul at river bay outfitters he should have everything you need to get started